Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's tutorial, I would like to answer one of the most frequent uh, questions that I get uh, from my loyal followers and clients, and the question is, what is OneDrive? Uh, sometimes it could be a, a direct you know, question uh, that I get uh, during a training session. Sometimes it could be maybe an indirect question, something along the lines, maybe a user having some issues, uh, and they usually would tell me, um, you know, we, we have an issue with uh, OneDrive and we need to fix it. So I thought I would uh, record this video and explain to you what OneDrive is all about. And the reason uh, I decided to record this video because uh, OneDrive, uh, the term OneDrive means different things to different users. So OneDrive can refer to one of the uh, three following uh, things. Uh, the first one is OneDrive for Business. Uh, which is essentially a web-based repository that each and every uh, user uh, has uh, within the um, Microsoft 365 ecosystem. We also refer to OneDrive, uh, the sync application that uh, essentially allows you to uh, synchronize uh, the um, OneDrive for Business or SharePoint document library locally on your device. And we also have something called OneDrive Personal, which is essentially the uh, non, you know, commercial, right, uh, uh, OneDrive account that uh, comes in with the Windows operating system. I will demonstrate this uh, uh, towards the end of this tutorial. So let me now spend a few minutes on each of these um, features or applications and provide you a little bit more in-depth, uh, I guess, uh, overview uh, of its uh, features. We will start with OneDrive for Business. Uh, before maybe I go to OneDrive for Business again, I uh, just want to briefly, um, uh, I guess, explain the concept of SharePoint. Uh, hopefully you're familiar with it now by watching all the videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, but the idea behind SharePoint, of course, is that uh, it's an application that allows users to collaborate uh, and store and collaborate on documents in uh, real time. And uh, obviously, uh, what you see right now on the screen is an example of a SharePoint team site. And uh, that's the thing about SharePoint. Uh, a given SharePoint site, uh, even the most restricted one, right, you know, typically would have multiple team members. Uh, you would typically, you would never have a site that belongs to uh, just one individual. I mean, the reason why we create sites in SharePoint is because uh, that's like a shared workspace. This is where the users can uh, collaborate on on, uh, you know, documents um, and uh, walk off the same version of the documents in real time if need be. And in case uh, if the user needs to store some documents, you know, privately uh, and securely and maybe, you know, they don't want to share them. Uh, in this case, we have uh, yet another application that's a part of Microsoft 365 ecosystem, just like SharePoint, uh, something called OneDrive. So let me click on my OneDrive. So what is OneDrive? It's essentially a private repository uh, for each user in the cloud. Um, if you recall on a SharePoint site, um, SharePoint site is pretty much a workspace where you can store and organize not just documents, but any other type of content, links, uh, news, events, uh, images, videos, and so on. Uh, the idea behind uh, OneDrive is that uh, it's a private repository for each user in the cloud. The only thing you can store here are files and folders, and uh, unlike a SharePoint site, which is typically shared among multiple users, everything you put in your OneDrive is private. So by default, it's private. Any file or folder you upload here is private. However, uh, you can obviously share it with other users. If you do not share, uh, with other users, nobody will have access except for you, except for each individual user that OneDrive for Business account belongs to. Uh, the OneDrive account is tied to each user, all right, each user's ID. So again, it's private, it's restricted just to this uh, individual. And obviously, when you leave the organization, let's say you have your OneDrive for Business account, uh, and you leave the organization, your OneDrive account uh, will obviously be deleted and everything you have in your account will be gone and deleted, uh, uh, you know, at some point of time. So um, I know it says uh, OneDrive uh, in the upper left-hand corner here, and I guess that's a short uh, name 
uh, for what is officially known as a OneDrive for Business. And the reason we call it OneDrive for Business is because this is the private repository uh, you get uh, when um, you know you are employed by an organization and when you uh, are part of a commercial organization that has Microsoft 365. Uh, another reason for this is because we also have something called OneDrive Personal, uh, which uh, I will describe towards the end of the video. That's why, you know, obviously uh, in the, in this particular context we we call it OneDrive, but the official name um is OneDrive for business uh, meaning that uh, this is not you know a, a, an account where you will maybe store your family pictures right because this is the account the OneDrive account you get as part of the organization you work for and this is just a allocation for you to keep your uh, files um you know privately and securely uh in the cloud and only you by default have access to them Let's now uh, discuss uh, the other use case, uh, I guess, uh, another feature that we also call uh, OneDrive, and uh, that kind of causes confusion with, uh, um, you know, what OneDrive is all about. But OneDrive also refers to uh, the fact that you can synchronize uh, the documents uh, from both SharePoint and OneDrive, OneDrive for Business, that is, to your local computer. So here I am again on this uh, team site and I'm inside of the document library and obviously it has a sync button. And when I press that sync button, uh, what happens it actually synchronizes the entire library uh, you know, to your computer, to your Windows Explorer. Uh, but if you read here, uh, what's actually happening, it actually tells you over here, we're connecting to OneDrive on your device and make sure to install the latest, latest version of OneDrive. So again, the same, name but used for completely different feature because in this particular case OneDrive refers to the application that allows me to synchronize my library locally on my computer. Now I have already done that. Uh, I have already uh, installed that application and I synchronized this library uh, already many times before so I already have it in my Windows Explorer which I will show you in a second but for now I also want to show you this. So I'm back in OneDrive for Business. Remember where I store my you know the files within my organization that I want to keep private. I can synchronize it as well as a matter of fact it says sync this OneDrive. And when I do that again, uh, it's synchronizing it using the OneDrive Desync application. So you see that's where the confusion is coming from. So let's go ahead and uh, access that uh, second OneDrive uh, that it just uh, the system just told us uh, about. If you click uh, in the lower right hand corner, if you're on Windows, on the blue cloud icon, uh, I will explain to you what the white cloud icon means, but uh, uh, let's click on a uh, blue cloud icon. Look at this. It says OneDrive, um, you know, dash the name of your organization. And this is the application that allowed me to uh, essentially synchronize uh, the, um, you know, my library locally. Let me access it, you know, on my Windows Explorer. So here it is. Uh, I uh, just expanded this window uh, so you can see it a little bit better. Uh, I synchronized my OneDrive for Business, and I know it mentions my name, but depending on which um, operating system you have, it might also say uh, OneDrive dash, you know, the name of your organization. This is my OneDrive for Business that uh, I essentially, uh, you know, synchronized locally uh, as well on my computer. And over here, remember that library, that HR library that I synchronized? Here it is. It's on my C drive. Uh, as a matter of fact, it actually tells you right here, you know, OneDrive, you see, uh, over here, all right? So again, you know, OneDrive, uh, this is where the confusion is coming from because OneDrive really, um, you know, uh, re references uh, two completely different things, uh, the cloud storage plus the application that allows you to synchronize uh, the information locally on your device. And just to prove this to you as well, if I click on blue cloud icon, uh, the gear icon, and it, it actually tells me quit OneDrive, you know, the application, right, that synchronizes. I mean, obviously, when I quit OneDrive, I'm not quitting my cloud repository. I'm quitting the application that allows me to sync. But let me click on settings. Again, OneDrive settings, you see. 
OneDrive settings over here. So in this particular case, OneDrive refers to the application, this application that allows me to sync stuff, uh, you know, locally to my uh, computer. So very, very important to understand the difference. Now, uh, the third uh, application where also the same name was used, OneDrive, uh, is OneDrive Personal. Now, uh, over here in my case, it actually just uh, mentions my name. However, once again, and depending on which you know um, operating system you have, I have Windows 11, but if you have Windows 10, uh, still it might say something like OneDrive-Personal. Let me click here. And it actually over here says, you see OneDrive, it's a personal OneDrive. So what is this personal OneDrive? Uh, this is the OneDrive that came in with uh, essentially uh, with my uh, PC, with my computer. So when you, let's say, if you purchase a new PC, if you were given one as part, um, you know, uh, within your organization, right? Maybe you were given a laptop, you might already have personal, and this is just an account that comes in for free as part of Windows operating system. So this is the account where you might maybe store your family pictures, uh, essentially all your personal stuff that has nothing to do with work, right? Because remember for work, we have this um, OneDrive for business and this is OneDrive personal. And this is what this uh, white cloud icon is essentially for uh, in case if you also want to synchronize uh, your, you know, your personal stuff uh, that's also, you know, stored in the cloud, uh, kept in the cloud securely. Uh, you can also um, synchronize it as well locally on your computer. But this is uh, where the two differ. Again, the blue cloud icon is the uh, commercial one, OneDrive for business that you get as part of your organization. And the white cloud icon is just the one you kind of have just because you have a, a new laptop. And just to prove it to you, uh, Right here, you see it says, actually, um, I know it's a bit confusing. Uh, it um, says my name dash, you know, personal, but here it spells it out for you, OneDrive personal. So that's the one that uh, essentially I got uh, when I got this computer. Uh, this is, so OneDrive personal is essentially where I will store, you know, I can store family pictures and personal files that um, have nothing to do with work. So here we have it, uh, essentially uh, three different uh, applications, uh, three different use cases. Uh, again, OneDrive for Business, uh, OneDrive Sync, and then OneDrive Personal. And they're all totally different. They all do and achieve uh, completely different things and have different applications, different use cases. So uh, that's why it's very important Sometimes when users ask me to train them or have a question about OneDrive or have an issue with OneDrive, the very first thing that I usually do is, you know, try to determine what is the, you know, the application, what is the actual issue? Are they having uh, just an issue with, uh, I don't know, storing documents in the cloud or are they having an issue with uh, synchronizing, you know, the sync application? Uh, and so on. Now, in case if you want to learn more uh, about uh, OneDrive Sync, for example, OneDrive for Business, I have recorded a number of videos on my uh, YouTube channel. Uh, I, I also have a course that I teach both live and on demand on OneDrive, so feel free uh, to check it out on my website. Uh, but for now, uh, I want to thank you for watching this video. Hopefully to see you again on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.